something I've noticed and heard from others inside the whole system. I was told today by a higher up that everybody on on the conservative side hates everybody else. Nobody likes anybody. Everybody, everybody puts everyone down all the time behind the scenes. And I said, "Yep, the left is united. The right is divided." I'm telling you, that's how it is. For some reason, the communists, socialists, and anarchists line up behind each other. They never ever say anything negative about each other. You notice that? And the answer is really clear because we conservatives are more free free spirited. We're not as bound by a party. You know, this is how the Communist Party used to work. Nobody dared step out of line in the old communist days. If they did, they were ejected from the party. This is what the Democrats are today. That's why there's total unity behind our dear leader. Because he is, in essence, the equivalent of a communist leader. Nobody dares say one word out of line or they get thrown out of the Communist Party, which today is called the Democrat Party, uh, by the way. There's no difference. It's just in a, on a minor scale. I heard behind the scenes that there's not one conservative who gets along with another. Everyone snipes at everyone behind their back, puts them down. I do it openly. They won't even do it openly. Uh, I don't like anybody, and so therefore I tell you that. I find fault with everybody, but I, and I do it because I'm a free spirit. That's how I see it. The liberals never criticize each other because they're communists. That's the communist system. The mark of a free man is a man who can criticize somebody. The mark of a prisoner is somebody who is so trapped within the doxy of his party, that he dares not step out of line and say, Obama's a fugazi. You get it? Well, okay, I hope you get it. Never, ever forget, your votes don't count. Retrickle down tyranny, fool. So